Hey guys, it's me Zara, and I'll be reading the new Butterfly Park. It's by Ellie McKay, author and illustrator of If You Hold a Seed. Let's get started. So let me just tell you a little bit about the book. If you guys you guys get an idea. When a little girl moves to a new town, she finds a new place called Butterfly Park. But when she opens the gate, there are no butterflies. Determined to lure the butterflies in, the girl inspires her entire town to help her. And with their combined efforts, soon the butterflies and the girl feel right at home. Butterfly Park. And this is a beautiful picture of some flowers and a little butterfly fly. Once there was a girl who was moving to a new town. This made her sad. She was going to miss the birds that sang in the morning and the crickets that sang at night. But most of all, she was going to miss the butterflies. So it looks like she lives in the country and she's going somewhere. And there's a little backpack that has a butterfly on it. And all the boxes and the little lamp, the moving boxes. I like the illustrations in this book. After a long, winding trip, winding trip, she and her family arrived at their new home. Instead of birds and crickets, she heard horns and trains. Beep, beep, choo, choo. And then there was her house, plain and gray like the others, like all the others. But next to it was a gate, unlike any other. The girl repeated the letters. Suddenly she felt very lucky. Butterfly Park. Next morning, the girl couldn't wait to meet the butterflies. She set off with a plate of cookies, for it was always smart to make for a good first impression. But when she opened the gate to Butterfly Park, she didn't see a, a, a butterfly anywhere. The girl waited and waited, had a cookie, and waited some more. Finally, she saw one, though it was in, in her neighbor's yard. The girl knocked on their door and asked the boy if she would help her catch the butterfly. She agreed and knew how to reach way up high. Together they caught the butterfly and took it to Butterfly Park. But up, up and away it flew over the gate. I know why the butterfly is not going in Butterfly Park. You know what? They needed more help if they were going to bring butterflies to Butterfly Park. So they knocked and knocked on all the neighbors' doors. The children were happy to help. They swung their nets and caught a few, but when they took them to Butterfly Park, up, up, and away the butterflies flew. Oh. There's no flowers there, that's why, except for one. The children wondered what the butterfly wanted, when suddenly, it flew away. The girls and boys dropped their nets and followed the butterfly. It took them up and down and through the town, Curtis and grew. I'm sorry, this word is curiosity, it grew. <laughs> Windows and doors began to open. Evelyn was having such fun. Others joined in too. And here's a picture of the whole town running up the hill following the butterfly. The butterfly led them along a winding path and up many twisting stairs until they reached the top. From there they could see. Flowers. Yes, butterflies love flowers for their sweet nectar. At last the girl knew what to do. Bright and early the next day, she set off for Butterfly Park again. 
this time with flowers. The girl waited, waited, listening to the sounds of the busy town. There were still no butterflies. Then, when she looked through the gate, something caught her eye. It was her neighbors! They arrived with boots and gnomes and wagons. They brought trowels and dirt and shovels. They Sorry, this, this is troubles. They bought shovels and dirt and shovels. They showed her that the plants need roots to grow. Together, everyone planted until the park was brimming with flowers and laughter. And there's a big post in here. I'm open. And sure enough, in time... The butterflies came. The girl not only felt lucky. This is the whole park, and it's so beautiful. The flowers and the butterflies came. In time, she also felt right at home. The end. And one thing is that it's so important to grow flowers and plants because it makes the city beautiful and it's good for the environment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye!